What's up guys? Welcome back to the GNS Trucking YouTube channel. Oh, we're back. We're feeling better than ever. Um, I just want to give a quick update on all the COVID stuff. So dad is out of the hospital. He's feeling fine. He's back at work. Um, me and my wife are feeling better than ever. Like I really do feel pretty good. So um, two weeks I've had to clear my mind, have a time with the family. I've not really done much of nothing other than work at the shop and work at the house, you know, work on the house. Um, we've actually got the floor down. So if you guys want to go over and check our channel out and see all the progress on the house, she just put a video up. So, uh, but anyways, but today what we're going to do, I've got to run here in the bank real quick and get a cashier's check. Um, a friend of mine is actually selling a really nice step deck and I need my own step deck. I got an old one right now that's a piece of crap and I always have to borrow one. I either have to use Bruce's or I have to use somebody else's and it's just really getting old and I've worked my butt off, save up some extra money and I'm going to go buy one today. I think the one I'm going to buy, I think you guys are going to like it. I got a pretty good deal in it, I feel like. And then we're going to go load that bad boy and take it to Texas. So um, we got a lot of parts here for the Peterbilt. I got a bumper for it. I got a set of stacks for it. We're going to do some upgrades to this thing. The single axle cab over is coming along nicely. Um, now that everybody's back at work, we can finish our plan of getting back on the Air Force truck, all that stuff. So guys, hang on, let's grow this channel and let's grow it at the pace that it's going. I don't want to rush it. I don't want to grow into a million subs overnight, you know, in a month's time or two months time. I really want to just take our time with it. We got offered a show, like an actual TV show, doing what we're doing, but on TV. And if we're good enough to get a TV show, and then evidently we're doing something right, and if we do it right, we can grow it into something big and do it, you know, grow with it instead of just rushing into it and, you know, either being a one hit wonder or just blowing it all at one time. Because, you know, it takes time and you gotta grow with what you're doing. I've always started from the bottom and worked my way to the top and I'm not gonna treat this any differently. All right, guys, we got the chick. Oh, I hate doing this just because Oh, it just uses up all of our capital. Not all of it, but close to it. So, um, I am actually working with this new bank. And, see, I've always been with a small bank. Always. So, I've never had a, uh, um, you know, they can't do commercial loans or nothing like that. So, I've never had a commercial loan, ever. Or a business loan or anything like that. And... They're willing to, this bank uh, hit me up and like, hey, you know, the kind of business you do, as much business as you do, be cool if you give us a chance to uh, um, do a business loan with you. And uh, I was like, heck yeah, shoot ya. So instead of doing a business loan, I got all my business accounts set up with them. And actually, she talked to me about doing a line of credit. Well, I've never done that. So I'm talking to my papa, he's really good with that stuff. And he's like, you know what, that might not be a bad idea to build your credit and with your YouTube stuff, you know, cause I put all this money in these projects and these um, trucks and stuff. And it might be a month or two before I get my money back out of them. But if you have a revolving line of credit, you know, you could use your money to get the truck set up, done. You know, you're not using all your capital and um, just something I'm really thinking about trying to do. I know I've always preached, you know, don't get loans, don't finance trucks, but I never thought about a revolving line of credit. I didn't even know that existed. So we're gonna try that, maybe. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If it's something you think I should try, if it's something that you guys have tried. I'm always into learning new stuff, and if it's going to better my business, I definitely want to try it. So, guys, let me know what you think. We're going to head over here and get this trailer, and I'm super excited about it. All right, guys, here she is. This is a Dunin. So, this thing has, it's even got constant air pressure gauges on it. It's all lit up. It's got new ramps with it. 
Um, I got two sets of ramp levelers, stands for the boats, the whole nine. Of this thing is sweet. Like, I'm going to redo the floor on it, but I'm going to wait on that. Oh, my God. Look at that, guys. Everything's greased up. Works good. So, in 10 years, this trailer's got less than 50,000 miles put on it. But this guy is so particular on maintenance, keeping things up. I mean, you can see right here, you always keep everything painted up, looking good, pretty. You got two sets of ramps with it. I mean, everything we need to get into the step deck business. I got straps, tarps, the whole nine yards. God, this trailer looks awesome. I am so pumped. And it's a California spread, too, at that. Holy crap, I'm so excited. <laughs> Guys, I've always wanted a step deck of my own. A really nice one. Like, I mean, I've had some step decks, but they ain't never been like this caliber of a trailer. And now we got one. God, I'm excited. Got a place for the ramps to go. I am just plum tickled to death over this unit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook this thing up. I'm taking it straight to put a load on it. This will be my trailer to pull around. I pull equipment now, you know, I pull these boats. Um, and as long as I'm pulling the boats, I can make it work. So, I'm gonna get it hooked up and we're gonna go try it out. Look at that bad boy. Here we go, guys. God, this trailer is so sweet. I got like a pallet of chains and a pallet of binders. I got uprights, ramps, levelers, the whole nine yards. I won't tell you the price, but I can tell you it was uh, it was under twenty thousand. I don't ever just price stuff. So if you look around, guys, you get a good deal on stuff. You don't have to just go out and buy the most expensive stuff. And I found out where to get my motor mirror fixed. So we'll be doing that. Guys, we're gonna go over here and get loaded and see how it pulls. Oh, I'm so excited. We get to load the trailer for the first time. Guys, I cannot tell you how excited I am about this trailer. I am super, super excited. I'd have done had it a long time ago, but um, it's, it was, you know, that's a lot of money to come up with. And I know you guys know Right now is not the best time to be buying equipment, but I just had, I couldn't turn this trailer down. So, and now we got it, it's ours, paid for. We just gotta go make the money back. So I'm gonna be hustling for the next week or two, pretty hardcore. And guys, I'm starting to love this trailer even more and more and more. So here is the, the levelers. They worked out perfect for how I wanna load it. And we just took the ramps off. Like I said, I gotta do the floor. I'm gonna redo the floor on it, but uh, this thing to sit on the ramp, got it up high enough where we can actually strap it. And then back here, I'm gonna use these. And uh, I think I can put the ramp in there sideways like that. So it'll set up like it did in the front. I gotta redo the floor, but The two inch or the four inch? Okay. Bolt it. Just strap the trailer down. All right, guys, we finally got this bad boy loaded up. Actually, we loaded it pretty quickly. Uh, so I am going to take it to the shop and restrap it. This is all I had with me. And I was kind of in a hurry. So these things right here are amazing check that out that ramp's sitting in there boat sitting on top of it good hand cooked tires on the trailer i don't know what these are for yet 
Maybe one of you guys can tell me what these are for. So it's got like a bar, it pushes them up. Maybe it's like to hold something. I don't know. I ain't figured that part out yet. So guys, anything you can tell me about this trailer, I know I got a lot of uh, flatbedders on here, step deck guys. So anything you guys can tell me about this thing. And as far as strapping it, I know a lot of guys prefer certain ways. Um, whatever's the easiest and the safest. Some of the things I need to get for this thing as far as chains and binders, I got a lot with it. But I know there's certain binders and stuff they come out with these days that fix it. And of course, I've got to redo the floor. So anything I could do with the floor, um, any ideas gonna, that could help me, guys, I'm willing to listen. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think we should do to it. Definitely tell me what these things are for, though. And God, I'm excited. So it's a Dunan 53-foot California spread. And I think it's a 2000... 9 or 10 model it's older but so he's probably not put 50,000 miles on it in 10 years he bought it and he just don't really use it that's why he went ahead and sold it to me so I'm going to go through it and make sure nothing's dry rotted or messed up and... let's see is the airbag oh no airbags that ain't good oh crap I flipped that valve, I bet. Ooh, dang, I rode all the way over here with no air in the bags. I didn't figure that out. freaking I'm trying to figure out how this thing rides all right it's airing up these things like <laughs> see that things like maxed out right now All right, well, I got the airbags figured out. Got the stands in. They're locked up. Things strapped, zip tied. So let's go ride this thing down the road with a load on it and see how she does. Gonna put my little mud flaps back on the truck. I'm out of here, bro. See you. Granny Bell Bell. Daddy got some load. I seen them up here loving on you. Getting lovin's. Yeah. Step to step, dude. I'm gonna call this trailer. Step. Oh, that's so much better with air ride on, guys. Can't believe I messed that up. Seventy, no vibrations. It's pulling smooth. 
as smooth as silk. Wow. I can't wait till tonight. I'm going to take a video of it lit up. Oh, wild zone. So, guys, we'll, uh, yeah, definitely. When it gets dark, I got to go back and get some more video. This thing's got to let light up like a Christmas tree. This nice little Ford F-150 decided to just cut me off and then slow down. I got to go up this hill slow. Oh, I forgot we got in the Peterbilt. We ain't got to worry about a hill. I can't wait to show you guys what I got for the Peterbilt. This thing is going to look so much different. It's going to look awesome. I am so excited about that. Guys, with the race car done, and that thing's proven itself time and time again. It's done perfect. Uh, I can actually, I don't know, I really needed that, guys. The ones that really supported me on that race car deal, I really needed that. It really helped me relieve a lot of stress. It's helped me get back to me again. Like, I know it sounds crazy, but like I really felt like I was missing something and I was stressed out and just well that car when I go get in that car all that's released like I, I don't know what it is but that car helps me just relieve so much stress and anxiety since I have had that car and started racing it I don't ever get stressed out anymore I think clearly uh, and it's fun for the weekend man the family goes out with it and has a good time and they support me and, you know, Braxton, Zayden, Sissy, they all love the car. They want to drive it when they get older. So I'm really thinking about getting up some junior dragsters. But seriously, guys, those who support, supported me on that car, thank you. Thank you, thank you. That really, you know, a lot of people go fishing. A lot of people go hunting. People go do different things to relieve stress. And that car done that for me. So super happy with it grab you this trailer too it's nice oh yeah we're finally back to Sweetwater get ready to go up the big hill man then guys actually I thought insurance would be pretty high on a aluminum step deck but it's actually not bad at all so we got it insured. Now I just got to go tag it in the morning and then head to Texas with it. I ain't got to try the spread out yet. I don't know if it's going to spread or slide easy. So I might actually go ahead when we get to the shop, spread it or unspread it. Let's go back down see how good it slides and all that stuff so uh, we get to the shop we might do that I'm just curious on how good it'll do I might wait until it's empty but go ahead and grease it up and that way when it is empty I know it'll slide easy but it would be nice to know when it gets empty it's going to slide these trees that I'm worried is going to turn my stacks off. There's trees hanging down right here. So you got to dodge. I hope it's going to get it. Dang it. Nope, oh, it tipped it. Hey guys, that's Frankie's junkyard right there. This guy's been here since way I was ever thought of and he always keeps old cars that's all he does go to the junkyard 
They'll buy all year long, strip them, and then uh, every year he gets rid of a bunch. It's like the other crusher come in and get rid of a bunch. He got a pretty good little operation going on there. And plus, he probably got ever the first dollar he ever made, so I'm sure he's got a nice little nest egg saved up. <laughs> We're a dad, y'all think about it. I'm so glad he's finally back at work. Look at all the whites on this beast. So I made it back to the shop and this thing rode good. I did notice that it needs a blinker. Put it back on it right here, but other than that, though, I'm pretty happy with it. I'll turn all these lights on to make sure they all work. good shape this thing's on a lot of good it's going to light up really good one little light out fix that real quick target 